Hey everybody, I'm kind of doing a spur of the moment tutorial here because Gimp Know How, I was looking at his channel, hasn't been making tutorials for a while. Uh, so I decided to do a few of the tutorials that were in his comment section. I'm going to be doing two right now. One is how to make letters into camera straps. And the other is how to download a font into GIMP. So to download a font into GIMP, you go to dafont.com, which is where I go for my fonts. They're free. They don't have viruses as far as I can tell. And they're pretty good. So, yeah, see, so go to the dafont page, pick one you like. Click download, save it to your desktop or wherever, open it, and now take this and WinRAR, select these two with the little thing that kind of looks like a New England Patriots logo next to it, extract to your name, GIMP 2.6, Go down to fonts and press OK. And now all you have to do is restart GIMP and that font will be in your little font menu. And the font should have all the fonts you're looking for. The person who left the comment said they were looking for a graffiti ones. Pretty sure they have graffiti ones. Uh, yeah, right here. So, do the same thing with those. So, to do this in Photoshop, all you have to do is take it and put it into your regular fonts folder, which you can easily find by just going fonts. And it'll take you to your fonts folder. And then you can just take these and drag them right in there and right there and it'll put them in your photoshop ta-da so now now that we have that the second thing we wanted to do was make this camera logo picture. So open up your GIMP and to do this all you really have to do there's two different ways you can do it. The easier way is just to make the T and the Y separate from the rest of the word and if you want them to actually be like a strap texture you're gonna have to take the straps and use the eye warp tool to just shape them to how you want in the camera. You can also do that with the the letters, but that that's how you can make the bottom of the letters curvy. Now uh if you don't want to do that, you can just take it and get your little camera picture put it right in there you can just take that and now you take your words of what your choosing font make them bigger Alright, so now what you can do is take this Y and you could have just made the T and the Y different and just rotated them and moved them to be the camera strap. Or you can go to the I warp, which is where is this? Right here and you can take these and you can 
warp them down. Now you can see. I don't think you can. Uh, you can move up the radius. The, the deform them out, which just makes it go a little quicker. And doing that, you can make your stuff into a camera strap. Uh, if you wanted it to actually have a texture, you can take a picture of a camera strap and I warp that onto here and then just maybe blur it a little alpha to select this and delete and then the letters will have the texture. Uh, I hope that's helpful if that's not quite what you're looking for because I just pretty much did that off the comments on Gimp Know How's channel since he hasn't been making tutorials. Uh, you can just leave me a comment and I will try to fix it and do a tutorial on what you actually wanted because this is kind of just a spur of the moment thing. Now, I'm not going to be making as much tutorials because right now I am working on a little video where I'm going to be in a Pac-Man maze running around and it's going to be a lot of fun and that's been taking up a lot of time so I'll see you when that comes out and in my next tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If it's not, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.